If you love Jesus, we need to have a race. Okay. But not a, not a foot race, because I'm really slow. Uh, that wouldn't be fair. Uh, maybe an eating race? Because I can eat fast. No? Okay. Um, what kind of race would you like to do then? Maybe a balloon race. A balloon race? Yeah. Oh, like a hot air balloon race, and we can jump in it and race across the continent? Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, where's no. your hot air balloon? No, 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 not like that. No? Blow balloons. Oh. Oh, oh, bad choice because I happen to be the world's greatest balloon blower upper. Okay. I don't like to blow, I don't like to brag, but <laughs> kind of am. In fact, I have some right Ooh. here. I do. In fact, I have two. I have it yellow and I have black. Which one would you like? Perfect yellow, yellow for you. How'd you, how did <laughs> I know? I don't know. All right. So if you step up here, young lady. Okay. We're going to have the balloon blowing championship of the world. And uh, let's see, we need to count down three, two, one. Okay. And I'm sorry, but you're going to lose. It's going to be bad and you're going to be embarrassed. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 hold up. Can you hold your balloon up? How did you, okay, give me another chance, please. Still harder. Okay, give me, give me one more okay. shot, all right? Okay. Let the air out of that thing. We're gonna try this again. She got lucky, people. Listen, I am the world's greatest balloon okay. blower upper in the world. You count it off, because I need my breath. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, what is happening right now? So, I, I, I couldn't even get a little bit in there, and here you are just showing off to everybody, blowing up this big old balloon, and I'm like, oh, me. oh I'm so bad at this. I quit. I'm a no. failure. I'm not good at this. I should just quit and go home. No, don't. No? no? Why? My balloon's broken, obviously, or I'm broken. See, Let, see my balloon? Yes. There's, you can take the balloon. I don't even care. It kind of has a knot in it. It what? It has a knot. It. Wait! My balloon has a knot in it! Yeah! Oh, that's what you just said. <laughs> yeah, my balloon... Hey! Someone tied my balloon before it got blown up. That's kind of silly, huh? Yeah, I think so. What am I thinking? I'm not thinking, am I? You know what? This balloon being tied reminds me a little bit about the Holy Ghost. Okay. You know, a lot of things remind us about the Holy Ghost, huh? Mm-hmm. As we're in Sunday school, when we're uh, talking about the things of the Bible, everything reminds us about the things of God. So yeah. here I was trying to blow up my balloon, but uh, it's all tied up. So yours, you were able to blow up because it wasn't, huh? Yeah. This reminds me of people. I've watched them. Then they're in the altar, and they're praying, and they want the Holy Ghost. And they have their hands lifted, but they don't open their mouth. <laughs> Have you ever seen that before? Where people, like, they're real quiet and they won't mm -hmm. open their mouth? Well, God, he says, I want to speak, right? The Bible yeah. says you get the Holy Ghost, and the sign is that you speak in another... Tongues. Yeah, you speak in other tongues, and it comes out your mouth, right? But if your mouth isn't open, is that possible? No. Do you think God's going to open your mouth and go... Blah, 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 blah. God, no, God doesn't force us. <laughs> we work with God. God doesn't yeah. make us do anything. Uh, and so if your mouth is closed... You can never be full. So, could you blow this up one more time? Because this one is open. Go ahead. This one is open. The same way that your mouth needs to be open when you're praying in the altars, when you lift your hands and you start praising God and saying, I love you, Jesus. Open your mouth and you begin to speak out. Lift up your voice. And this is going to happen just like Mila. You can be full of the Holy Ghost. And that's when we tie it, right? Yeah. Not before. That was silly of me, huh? Because we don't want the Holy Ghost to go anywhere but inside of us, right? Well, we do want to share it with people. Uh -huh. But we want to stay full of the Holy Ghost too, huh? Because the Bible says he'll give us an endless supply. It's like rivers of living water that pours out of us when you get the Holy Ghost. And you could be full of the Holy Ghost just like Mila. You had the Holy Ghost. How long have you had it? When did you get it? How old were you? I think I was seven or eight. Seven or eight years old. I was eight years old when I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and so you can get the Holy Ghost at any age, but it's important. And remember, open your mouth. you gotta open your mouth. 
You guys, I learned a lot. Mila, thank you for your help today. You've been awesome. High five. And guys, big high five out there to you too. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.